have a look at this YouTube. First time in ages. I managed to get my hands on some laptop packs. I went to see my, uh, my normal source, and he's like, yeah, no, I actually have a heap of them this time. Pretty rare. And, uh, and the 4 amp Milwaukee battery. I was meant to get three or four of these this week, but uh, never arrived in the post. Still got a couple up here that need processing through. I haven't got to them yet. But uh, I'll get all these stripped. Get all those stripped. I'll sit down tonight and have a good blade pulling them all apart. And that one. But uh, something out of the ordinary. This is out of a uh, power tool. It's a 14.4 uh, volt pack. It says two in parallel, four in series. With a little PCB. See the corrosion on the focus. Corrosion on the PCB. There we go. That's what killed it. Yeah, which cell is it? That cell. These pair are less than two volts. The rest are 4.3. And uh, the middle one. No, not the middle one. Yeah, the two outside ones are 4.3. Middle one's 4.3 as well. These outside ones are only 2 volts. So they were having a struggle. So I got a Sony one, and Seuss one. After market one, which normally has red Sanyos in them. Gonna guess aftermarket as well. No brand. The HP one, that should have some good cells in it actually. 4200 and it's 3S, so there should be uh, six cells. Around 20, 2100 milliamps hour. Another resource one, 5200 milliamp hours at 10.8. That will be a good one. I've got two of them. Another resource, 4800 at 11.1, uh, so that should be 2.4s. Never had a Toshiba like this, 10.8 at 4400. I'm going to say there's one, two, three, four, five, well, one, two, three, four, five, six in there. Some of them will use 10.8 as their voltage, some of them will use 12.6, some of them use 11.1, they're all different. HP, we said that. Toshiba one. It's 44 watt hours, so what's that? About 4200 milliamps, I guess. So they are all lower voltage, are they? 11.1, 11.1. Yeah, and a Sony battery which is 48, so that probably won't be too bad. And uh, if you watch my channel, you already know what's in them. I'm just more playing with this little boost controller converter. Um, I'm gonna set it up so that we can charge a car battery off a car battery. I know that sounds redundant, but I want to charge fully lead acid battery. Off an almost flat car battery. Just in the uh, idea of allowing for loss, like voltage loss. Say in the idea of a caravan or a trailer with a battery in it. But yeah. A little bit of an update for you guys. I'm going to wreck all these and I'll post you some results of what's inside each of them. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.